Good evening and welcome to our day's evening worship with the evening prayer right to you on April 20th, 2020. We pray that you are well and that the day has found you finding hope and light in the midst of this time of trial and tribulation and uncertainty. Tonight's service will begin on page 116, and we will recite Psalms 4 and 7, found on page 587 and 590 in the Book of Common Prayer. Let my prayer be set forth in your sight as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful Father God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. By what we have done, and by what we have left undone, we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Continuing with O Gracious Light on page 118. O Gracious Light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Psalms appointed are Psalms 4 and 7 on pages 587 and 590, respectively. Psalm 4. Answer me when I call, O God, defender of my cause. You set me free when I am hard-pressed. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. You mortals, how long will you dishonor my glory? How long will you worship dumb idols and run after false gods? Know that the Lord wonders for the faithful. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Tremble then and do not sin. Speak your heart in silence upon your bed. Offer the appointed sacrifices and put your trust in the Lord. Many are saying, oh, that we might see better times. Lift up the light of your countenance upon us, Lord. You have put gladness in my heart more than when grain and wine and oil increase. I lie down in peace. At once I fall asleep. For only in you, Lord, for only you, Lord, make me dwell in safety. 
Psalm 7. O Lord my God, I take refuge in you. Save me and deliver me from all who pursue me. Lest the lion tear me in pieces and snatch me away with none to deliver me. O Lord my God, if I have done these things, if there is any wickedness in my hands, if I have repaid my friend with evil or plundered him without cause, him who without cause is my enemy, then let my enemy pursue and overtake me, trample my life into the ground, and lay my honor in the dust. Stand up, O Lord, in your wrath. Rise up against the fury of my enemies. Awake, O my God, decree justice. Let the assembly of the peoples gather round you. Be seated on your lofty throne, O Most High. O Lord, judge of the nations, judge the nations. Give judgment for me according to my righteousness, O Lord, and according to my innocence, O Most High. Let the malice of the wicked come to an end, but establish the righteous. For you test the mind and the heart, O righteous God. God is my shield and defense. He is the Savior of the true in heart. God is a righteous judge. God sits in judgment every day. If they will not repent, God will wet his sword. He will bend his bow and make it ready. He has prepared his weapons of death. He makes his arrows shafts of fire. Look at those who are in labor with wickedness who conceive evil and give birth to a lie. They dig a pit and make it deep and fall into the hole that they have made. Their malice turns back upon their own head. Their violence falls on their own scalp. I will bear witness that the Lord is righteous. I will praise the name of the Lord Most High. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of Peter. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ to the exiles of the dispersion in Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, who have been chosen and destined by God the Father and sanctified by the Spirit to be obedient to Jesus Christ and to be sprinkled with his blood. May grace and peace be yours in abundance. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his great mercy he has given us a new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you who are being protected by the power of God through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you rejoice, even if now for a little while you have to suffer various trials, so that the genuineness of your faith, being more precious than gold, though that, though perishable, is tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. 
Although you have not seen him, you love him. And even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and rejoice with an indescribable and joy glorious joy. For you are receiving the outcome of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Concerning this salvation, the prophets who prophesied of the grace that was to be yours made careful search and inquiry, inquiring about the person or time that the Spirit of Christ within them indicated, that it testified in advance to the suffering destined for Christ and the subsequent glory. It was revealed to them that they were serving not themselves but you in regard to the things that have been now been announced to you through those who brought you good news by the Holy Spirit sent from heaven, things into which angels long to look. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Song of Simeon on page 120. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Continuing with the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. In the words our Savior Christ has taught us, we now pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Suffrages for this evening are Suffrages B. The response is, we entreat you, O Lord. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, we entreat you, O Lord that your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. We entreat you, O Lord, that there may be peace to your church and to the whole world. 
we entreat you, O Lord, that we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. The Collect for Protection. O God, the life of all who live, the light of the faithful, the strength of those who labor, and the repose of the dead. We thank you for the blessings of the day that is past and humbly ask for your protection through the coming night. Bring us in safety to the morning hours. Through him who died and rose for us, your son, our savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. O God and father of all, whom the whole heavens adore, let the whole earth also worship you. All nations obey you, all tongues confess and bless you. And men and women everywhere love you and serve you in peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Prayer of St. Chrysostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Glory to God whose power working us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. May God bless you and keep you this evening as you continue to be ministered to and ministers to our world. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.